So as you can see today, we're going to be looking at dividing monomials, um, kind of the opposite of the previous lesson. Let's say I have the expression a to the fifth, b to the eighth, over a b cubed. Just like I can add exponents when I'm multiplying them, I can subtract them when I am dividing them. So I have a to the fifth divided by a. It's going to give me a to the five minus one. Um, if I have b to the eighth divided by b to the third, it's going to give me the b to the eight minus three power. So I end up with a to the fourth, b to the fifth, and that's my final answer. Let's say I have uh, the quantity 2p squared over 3 to the fourth power. In this case, we have uh, we take that fourth power and we do it to both the top and the bottom of the fraction. So we're going to have 2p squared to the fourth power over 3 to the fourth power. That's going to give me 16p to the 8th, since I multiply the 2 and the 4, over 3 to the 4th, which is 81. So that's my final answer. Since I can't simplify that fraction, is 16p to the 8th over 81. So now, now we want to talk about negative exponents. Um, recall that 2 to the 4th is 16. 2 to the third is 8. 2 squared is 4. 2 to the first is just 1, 2, or 2. So what would you expect 2 to the 0th power to be? You would probably expect that one to be half of 2, which is 1, if we're following our pattern of making it half. Another reason is because if I take 2 to the 4th divided by 2 to the 4th, I get 2 to the 4 minus 4 power, or 2 to the 0th. Notice any time I have a number over a number, that's the same as 1. So I'm saying 2 to the 0th power is equal to 1. Notice that's the same conclusion we came up before. So any number to the 0th power, even like 0 0.25 to the 0th power, is going to equal 1. So let's take a look at negative 3 x to the fifth y over 8xy to the seventh, all that to the zeroth power. It looks pretty complicated, but based on what we just said, it's going to equal 1. Let's look at t to the cubed, or t to the third power, times s to the zeroth power over t. It's going to be t to the cubed minus t to the first which is t squared. And remember, s to the 0 is 1, so we're going to multiply by 1. My final answer for that one simplified is t squared. We continue what we were saying about how 2 to the 3rd is 8, 2 to the 2nd is 4, then we have it, 2 to the 1st is 2, 2 to the 0 is 1. You would expect going down a power would take me down another half. So 2 to the negative first, notice it's 1 over 2 to the first, or 2. 2 to the negative second is 1 over 2 squared, or 4, because we keep having this number every time we go down 1. Another way to look at it is if I have 2 to the first over 2 to the third, um, that's going to give me 2 over 8, which is 1 fourth. Notice that 2 to the 1 minus 3 gives me 2 to the negative second, which is also the same thing as 1 fourth. So that's again showing you two ways why a number to a negative exponent is going to be 1 over that number to that power. So let's look at b to the negative third times c squared all over d to the negative fifth. We can rewrite this using positive exponents. 
c squared is going to remain on top. But now d to the fifth can come on the top and become positive. b to the third can go down to the bottom and also become positive. So that's how I can write that with all positive exponents. Looking at this one, we have negative 3a to the negative fourth, b to the seventh, all over 21, a squared, b to the seventh, c to the negative fifth. Of course, if I divide both the top and the bottom by 3, I'm going to get negative 1 over 7 for my numbers. If I take negative 4 minus 2, so a to the negative 4 minus 2 power, I get a to the negative 6 power. So that's going to go on the bottom as a to the 6th power. If I take b to the 7 minus 7 power, it's b to the 0th power, which is 1. I don't need to include it. I'm just multiplying by 1. c to the negative 5th power is the same as c to the 5th power on top. So I end up with negative c to the 5th over 7a to the 6th for my final answer. So let's look at another example. If I have negative 3q to the negative second power times rs to the fourth power, all over negative 12q, r to the negative third power, s to the negative fifth power. Simplifying negative 3 over negative 12 is going to give me a positive 1 over 4 because I divide both values by 3. q to the negative 2 minus q to the first, or divided by q to the first is q to the negative 2 minus 1. That's going to give me q to the negative 3. That means q to the third on the bottom. r to the first minus negative 3 gives me r to the fourth power. That means r to the fourth goes on top. We have s to the fourth minus negative five equals s to the ninth. That's a positive value, so we'll put it on top. We get our final answer of r to the fourth, s to the ninth, over four q to the third. And with that, we will conclude our lesson on dividing monomials.